go live because it's 8 30 go live so this is going to be a a, a multitasking extravaganza because i'm here with you hey jess hey Chris. yeah um i'm here on instagram live and i'm streaming on youtube hi youtube and i'm just about to open my zoom room and anyone who wants to join me, sit with me, draw with me in Zoom can do that too. And I'm still setting things up um, and getting my, see me on YouTube. Awesome. Hello. Hello, Portugal. Um, Jose. Uh, Portugal is so cool. A lo lovely place. I, I have been there in the past and loved it very much. Um, I just got to figure out figuring out a few things. I've got things set up on YouTube and I'm looking in Zoom now. There's some people waiting to get in. Sayani, hello, Chris. Um, if you're if you would like to win a sketch and you have some time now, head over to YouTube and come sketch with us because I am giving away a, a, a one of the original sketches to someone who participated in the Instagram live stream and someone who joins us on YouTube will also win an original drawing. Uh, this is like a celebration giveaway, 18,000 followers on Instagram. That's quite a lot of people. Um, thank you very much to all of you for following. What am I, what am I doing over here? Okay. I'm going to let people into zoom. If you would like to join us in Zoom, you can follow the Zoom link in my bio or that, that says draw with me Tuesday and Friday, or you can come to YouTube and in YouTube, in the description down below, there is a link that says come draw with me uh, and Tuesday, Friday, and you can, you can follow that link too. So there's like two ways to enter. Um, now I see the people waiting, <gasps> seven people waiting, eight, seven, seven waiting to get into Zoom. Um, I don't, hello Zoom, oh, I better put my, my, my headgear on so I can hear people in Zoom. Hello, welcome, hi, hi, hi. Hello friends, nice to see you. Um, if you are, if you're welcome into Zoom, if you've got YouTube open, which is awesome, um, it'd be good if you could mute it because now you're gonna be able to hear what I'm saying anyway. And if you've got it on, I can hear myself through your feed. So I will, I'm going to do a screen share. There I am talking to myself. Uh, it's so nice to see you, my Zoom friends. Hi. Um, you get the, the full screen, like messy background view. Um, and I'm going to do a screen share so you can see my desktop. Uh, or, ah, oh, I can do it like this. Ah, uh, how's this? I'm just wondering which way this is going to work best. I'm trying things differently today because I've got my good camera facing my desk and I have my phone looking at me on Instagram. Um, and everyone can chat, light up the chat on YouTube, especially on Instagram as well. Um, I will see if I can, okay, I'll do this. I'll do the screen share in Zoom. So you'll now see behind the scenes. This is what I see when I'm streaming. This is, um, just look at the, the main part on the, don't look at all the technical stuff down below. Um, and I'm going to be drawing a bunch of people that people suggested. I put it up in my uh, Instagram stories. Um, saying, who should I draw in the live stream? We're going to do 10 minute portraits. And I have some 10 ish minute, po minute portraits here on my desktop because I was at a very exciting event on Wednesday where I did a bunch of 10 minute portraits. Hey, Lisa. Here's Lisa. Um, and I didn't get to keep any of the ones from the event because we gave them to the people. Um, uh, but here are some other sketches. This one took an hour, not 10 minutes. And right now we're going to do a whole bunch of 10 minute sketches and oh, is anyone in Zoom going to stay for a while and wants to be co-host so you can let people in? Because here's Gary. Um, Lisa, are you going to stay for a bit? Awesome. 
Awesome. I will co-host you. And if you see that someone's trying to get in, you can let them in because I might not notice. I'm going to do my best to keep my eyes on the chat here on YouTube. I'll probably be talking to my friends over in Zoom. Um, so I'm doing all sorts of things at the moment and hopefully going to be able to draw as well. Uh, yeah, 10 minute portraits, uh, a lot of suggestions, great suggestions. I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of them. Um, before we begin, I'm just going to announce the first winner from uh, the Instagram giveaway. So I've got to go back over here. I have put in my na random number generator. I click this button. It's actually just in Google. It says generate a random number. It's 10. Not many people entered. It's interesting that I almost have 18,000 people following me and 14 people entered my giveaway. That's cool. Um, Demarcopolis has won the Instagram giveaway and someone who is participating now in the live stream on YouTube is going to win a sketch as well. So at the end, the two winners can um, can be like, that was my favorite sketch, can I have that one? And I'll send it to you wherever you are in the world. So if you would like to um, maybe get one of my sketches, then um, come and join the YouTube live stream and we'll draw together and it'll be awesome. So that's out of the way. Congratulations. Um, Demarcopolis um, is the Instagram winner. Thank you very much, everyone, for following me. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to be able to draw and share here with you. And now we're going to start doing 10 minute portraits. And yeah, a whole bunch of cool suggestions. Um, and some of them I didn't really know very well. And some, are th uh, it's gonna, yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, because we'll be drawing some Iranian women. Um, and it, it was just like a really interesting series of events because I've often wondered like, how can I um, do more with my, my art and my kind of social media presence and just like speaking about issues which I think are important, um, like how can I do more of that? And then I was looking at a post that um, Jane did where she had um, done a sketch of an Iranian journalist and then, um, Sibylla had suggested that uh, I draw something relating to what's happening in Iran at the moment. And then I was um, chatting with a friend and muse from the sketchy community from Iran. Um, and it's just, yeah, and had some wonderful suggestions of Iranian women. And um, so we'll be doing some sketches of them and I'm sure we'll be able to talk about that a bit. <gasps> This is the first time I'm seeing the, the YouTube chat. So great to see you all here. I've never done a YouTube giveaway before. I think the way I'll do it, I would like you all to stay the whole time and keep drawing with us. But if you've sketched here, uh, or if you're in the comments on YouTube, just say, hey, I want to win a sketch. And then I'll go through the comments and somehow randomly pick someone <laughs> to win a sketch. Um, this is the first time doing a YouTube giveaway. so. Or I would just have to keep doing them and keep practicing to um, to figure it out. Um, so nice to see everyone over in Zoom. Anyone who wants to join and sit in the Zoom room where there will be some conversation, but it's like basically just hanging out and drawing together, which is cool. Um, and making me look like I'm talking to myself on YouTube when I start answering your questions and listening to you, which is fun too. Um, yeah, follow the link, which is in the description below the YouTube video, and you can get into... YouTube. Haha, <laughs> Sayani wants to win a sketch. Excellent. And you can tell me in the chat, where are you watching from? Because that's always interesting to know. I know a lot of your um, beautiful names and selves. Um, some people I don't know. So it's, um, it's nice to know where you're joining from. And we will, uh, yeah, we'll draw a bunch of portraits together. It'll be great. I'll have a drink. Um, Indiana. So I loved that so many people um, suggested people for us to draw. That was really cool. Um, and if you are in the chat on YouTube or here, hi Ricardo. Um, hey, Demarcopolis, um, you're here on Instagram on YouTube and here I just announced you can go over to YouTube if you want to sketch with us. I just announced that you're the winner of the giveaway for Instagram. So nice to see you in the chat here. You're going to get one of the sketches that I draw today. Um, so you can 
uh, send me a private message. We can we can figure out where it has to go to and which one you want. Um, anyone who's watching on Instagram, feel free to come over to YouTube. Anyone anywhere, feel free to get into Zoom. The first, the beginning, very fitting for beginnings, um, I had the wonderful suggestion of drawing the first person which I ever posted a drawing of on Instagram. I can't remember when it was, but it was a while ago and it's not totally a person. But here, um, if you're on YouTube or in Zoom, you'll be able to see this is the first sketch that I ever posted on Instagram and it's of Lord Ganesha, the elephant god um, of Vedic mythology, Indian god. And he's a remover of obstacles and is also um, just often invoked at the beginning of things um, for an auspicious beginning and to overcome obstacles that are set on your path. Um, it's often great to, to invoke Lord Ganesha. So Om Gam Ganapata Yena Namaha, let's draw Ganesha. This is going to be timed to about 10 minutes. So I'm sure I spent a lot longer than this in my initial sketch. The rest of these are going to be portraits. They're not going to be full figures and they're not going to be animal deities. Um, so this is going to be an exception to the rule. After this, we'll just be doing portraits. Um, but this is the first ever post that I did on Instagram. And if you scroll back through all of my posts, you'll be able to see it. Um, so thank you to everyone watching. Let's start drawing. I'm going to be, um, I have water soluble pencils with me and I'll be starting with this cool trick that I, I learned from Ulrika. Um, who I was drawing with us on Wednesday because she she does polychromos drawings, these polychromos pencils, um, which is a Faber-Castell pencil, colored pencil, and then you can do watercolor on top of it. And I had been getting pretty frustrated with my, um, or j j just the fact that with, I would like, everything would go so soft when I would um, put water over my ink tense pencils, which I love, but the, the crispy line work of the initial drawing is always lost. And Ulrika, who does these amaz amazing portraits, um, this is one that I did with these pencils. So the initial sketch is going to be with a polychromos pencil on Hanamula Nostalgie paper. And, and then I'll do ink tents and got some watercolors over here and see how we go. So um, it's time to start drawing. I'll probably start chatting a bit less. I'll just have a look what's going on over in the chat. If you want to win a sketch on YouTube, then write to me in the chat and say you want to win a sketch. Um, a few people have. Awesome. Tamara, Sayani. Um, yeah, anyone watching who wants to win a sketch on YouTube, uh, put that in the comment. Okay, 10 minutes. I've got my timer over here. And um, we'll just go for it for about 10 minutes. And we have at least eight drawings to do. So if it, if it works out, it'll be like, um, you know, 80 minutes, but I'm sure it's going to be longer than that. But there's also some additional ones because I, I got sent some, some wonderful reference photos, which I would also love to draw. If I don't make them th through all of them this time, then maybe next time. We did one of these um, sketch along 10 minute portrait live streams two weeks ago as well. And I really enjoyed it and really liked having so many people in the, the zoom room as well. And, um, and I, I was kind of thinking maybe for this live stream, I'd do like a longer pose, but then thought, oh, it's actually really fun. Let's keep the 10 minute thing happening. So I'm not sure if I'm, I'm probably not going to get into all the detail of this this kind of sketch style, the, the shadow shapes with this one, these big blocky shadow shapes was very much inspired by Mike Mignola, a great master of simplification of shadows and shapes. Um, yeah, so back in the day when I posted this, around that time, I was painting and sketching a lot of Indian divinities. And gods and goddesses and I, I did one by one meter oil paintings which my wife Kira who was a yoga teacher and does a, a yoga teacher training she would have these paintings 
um, in the room as she was training her students and it was just a, a really awesome uh, year spent like a year working on mostly on these portraits and pieces of paintings and um, learnt so much and I yeah and this was the first one Ganesha and at the time it must be about eight years ago because um, I would be reciting Ganesha mantras and listening to a lot of Ganesha mantras as I was painting and I remember at the time that I can who was very little and just learning to speak he was also singing along and singing these mantras which was really awesome um, almost three minutes in I'm gonna there's some so much to do here so I'm really gonna block in a lot of the areas with some watercolor and it's not going to be too detailed because there's just too much going on but um, it's a, a kind of complex beginning for us to uh, to loosen up and get sketching and here's the the mouse Mr. Mouse we have a really lovely book um, kids book about Ganesha and Mr. Mouse Hello everyone on Instagram. You're just looking at me talking um, and you can't see what I'm actually doing. I am also live streaming on YouTube and if you want to join then follow the link in my bio and come watch on YouTube and you'll see what I'm actually working on. And it's a giveaway. If you if you join on YouTube you may win, win one of my sketches from today. And if I stop talking at any time and someone in Zoom would like to say something, feel free to talk. If, if not, if you feel like being silent the entire time you're here, then that's also cool. And I appreciate that you're here. <laughs> what was that? Concentrating. <laughs> yeah, all, all, all the four hands. <laughs> yeah, not necessarily now, but if at any point in the coming two hours you feel like saying something, feel free. Baby Ganesha, yeah, there's wonderful stories about Baby Ganesha. The whole story, oh, there's so many stories. Um, just such a, a wealth of stories and lessons. So cool. Oh yeah, everything is holding means something. Um, so he's holding a plate of ladu in one hand, uh, which are these uh, delicious treats. Ganesha likes likes his ladu, and he's holding an axe over the shoulder. He's often depicted with like a little axe. The time that I was um, uh, just like a super, I found it super interesting at the time I was um, painting this. I was listening to the Mahabharata. Um, which also contains the um, the Bhagavad Gita within it. It's a really big, epic um, Indian story, and and there's so much there's so much war and battle in it. And I was kind of um, I I thought it was really interesting. I had been um. It was interesting to listen to uh, like stories of war in in these um, spiritual teachings and stuff, and I was kind of like, "Well, what's going on?" Um, yeah, each each one of these things that's holding could could be a, like a, a conversation on its own. But the the war is uh, and the, the axe is like removing obstacles, chopping down trees, and also the preparedness to to take action um, and the the mala in the hand the prayer beads as um, has 108 beads on it for reciting mantras um, the japa mala and the lotus which is um, 
each of these things symbolizes so many things and the, the lotus uh, is this beautiful sacred flower which which rises from from the muck of the swamp and is immaculate and perfect beautiful uh, yeah and we could get into much more detail with each of these things but that's uh, those are the things that he's holding um, all right with three minutes left what could make this <laughs> this is probably the this is the starting with the hardest thing so it's all going to be really easy after this um someone in, in someone in the zoom zoom room was just like what three minutes um so i'm just thinking now okay how can how can this image kind of be uh strengthened in a, a really efficient brief way and i think putting in a background is going to give a really uh, cool contrast and define the form a lot more so using this flat brush here to just fill that in um, anyone in the chat uh, if, if you're not busy drawing and you're just sitting on YouTube watching and you know things um, about Ganesha and the object is holding uh, or you want to weigh in about any of the people we're going to be drawing today feel free to tell us in the chat because um, I I enjoy learning and I think it's great that we can learn together um, so anyone who has anything to say please uh, feel free speak up in the chat or um, on zoom anyone on zoom who has uh, information for us um, just feel free to speak up Hi, welcome. Um, cool, thank you for bringing friends. Anyone over on, um, this is, it's funny, this is my 18,000 follower giveaway. I'm not actually 18,000 followers yet <laughs> on Instagram. Um, when I looked, it was like um, 17,930, but I'm gonna give away stuff anyway. Um, so anyone, who wants to um, tell friends, hey, this is fun drawing with Dylan, then feel free to tag people. Um, if you're watching and haven't followed me on Instagram yet, feel free. I just saw that paperwork by Miss Luniv just started following me, thank you very much. And for those watching over on Instagram, I'm also on YouTube uh, live streaming and you can actually see what I'm doing on YouTube if you check that out. Um, I hope everyone's nearly finished. <laughs> uh, this is super interesting for me to revisit this. I, I spent days uh, developing, working on this, I think. Okay, stop. That's our 10 minutes. I'm just going to add the, the om and the, the trident on the forehead here. Um, and thank you so much. If, if anyone wants to speak up and say, hey, I suggested that. Um, yeah, okay, Shadow suggested that I, that I draw the first person that I'd ever drawn. <laughs> so everyone has Parrot's Carrots, Shannon, to thank for this fun, uh, <laughs> fun, re re relaxing introduction to this sketching session. <laughs> um, so this is not quite finished, <laughs> but um, it, it was really fun drawing it. Thank you very much for the idea, Shannon, to uh, redraw. So m more than a person, but this is the first um, being that I shared on, on Instagram. Oh, cool. Anyone on... Anyone on Zoom who wants to hold up their sketches and um, show, feel free. And if you're drawing along with any of this, then um, hashtag drawing with Dylan when you post and share your work and tag me and your stuff and I would love to see it. Um, in between sketches, I'll just have a brief look at the chat so I can see um, if everyone's entering my giveaway on YouTube um, and just tell me that you want to win a print. Uh, not, they're not even prints, they're originals. If you would like one of these original sketches, tell me in the YouTube chat. 
of the live stream that's happening right now that you would like and um, maybe you win one so nice to see all these people um watching all these people here it's amazing uh Give me some thumbs up. I see 26 people are watching on YouTube and I have seven likes. So um, thumbs up and chatting in the chat is always good. Um, and let's move on to the next drawing. If you are on Zoom and you've got YouTube on, you could mute that because you can hear me on Zoom. Um, and it gets confusing for me when I hear myself through my own head and then also through the headphones. Um, okay, so um, removing obstacles. I, I think all the all these kind of um, you know the many great spiritual practices and awareness exercises, and something that I've been thinking about, wondering in um, in times of hardship, and there, there's so much crazy stuff going on in the world. And what's been going on in Iran is um, just one of the many um, crazy things happening at the moment. And I got in touch with some Iranian women. This is not someone I directly got in touch with, but someone suggested um, Melika um, Farutan is an actress, lives in Berlin and um, is uh, Iranian. And um, it's... Hmm? If any, half, half Iranian. I wonder about this thing. You say half Iranian, but like, are my kids half German or half Australian? Because I think this is really interesting. It's something that I, exactly. She's a German Iranian. Um, but, but there's something I used to think as well. And then I heard people saying, you know, you can't be half of something. Um, so she's German Iranian. My children are German Australian. Yeah. Um, so there are people in Zoom filling me in on the details here. Um, feel free to keep talking because it's super interesting. Um, and I, I just had a look at the trailers of a couple of um, Malika's uh, films. Um, and this is from the Kaiserin, uh, on, which is on Netflix, which I'll definitely be checking out, um, which looks pretty interesting. And Pari looks really powerful and amazing. I'll be checking that out too. And I did post this on my Instagram stories and she replied because I tagged her and she was like, cool, cool. That's just going to be drawn. So if you tag her as well, if anyone on YouTube wants to put her name in the chat um, at Melika Farutan, then um, maybe she'll see it and that'll be cool. So this is black and white so we can kind of use whatever colors we want. <laughs> Um, we're going to start again. It is cool, isn't it, Demarcopolis? Hello. Ah, Musa getting in is looking on Instagram. Anyone who's over here on Instagram can also get over here on YouTube. And if you want to get into the real inner circle, you can get in on, on Zoom as well. And now we're going to start our next sketch um, about 10 minutes of Malika Farutan. Uh, now, this is such a a cool reference photo. Um, M-E-L-I-K-A F-O-R-O-U-T-A-N um, Yeah, so it's, it's intense and um, interesting and terrible what's happening in Iran and um, starting it was just like over a month ago or about a month now um i don't want to pronounce her name wrong but um with the the murder of a um kurdish iranian or perhaps yep kurdish woman who uh apparently according to the laws was wearing her hijab wrong um and i have some friends and acquaintances here that uh, also uh, Iranian and it's been um, interesting that I become more and more aware of uh, how many Iranian people that I know um, and how many are living abroad in the world because the situation is so um, difficult and um, 
this is a lot of control and restriction within the the ruling regime in Iran and um, yeah and it's I had been wondering um, how can I well, like, what can I do um, and something I see a lot on social media is by um, sharing stories and amplifying the voices of the people who are going through hardship and um, and so I um, yeah seemed it would be good like obviously Malika is uh, living in Berlin um, I I know yeah quite a few people in Germany uh, from Iran and it's interesting kind of hearing their stories of how and why they left um, I uh, know, know a, a little bit about Iranian history and I I may get things wrong and people feel free to correct me or take it with a grain of salt, the things that I share and say, because I'm not an expert on everything. Um, but yeah, it's interesting uh, what, you know, what, what leads people in, in any situation to leave their country um, and start a new somewhere else. And it, it's been so interesting. Um, also, the the actress who play, played Bronwyn in uh, The Rings of Power is also Iranian. And um, it's, I've been really into The Rings of Power. And it's been really informative and interesting um, seeing that she, for, for a long time, has, has been a really um, outspoken activist on the issues of uh, what's happening in Iran and the the lack of freedom that women have there. And, um, and I think in, in situations where anyone is oppressed, um, that where a anywhere in the world where people are oppressed, like no one is truly free when people are suffering and oppressed. And it's difficult from afar as, um, people who are just busy with their own lives and feeding our children and there are all, so many issues going on in the world and it's like how can it's so important that we do our best somehow to um, have a um, a beneficial impact on the world somehow living in a peaceful non-harmful way and it starts at home, of course, and the way we interact with our family and neighbors. Um, but with these big international global issues, it's 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 an interesting kind of challenge to see how and um, how can we kind of contribute in a positive way to such important issues. And as an artist, um, by sketching, drawing people, because um, I like drawing portraits and I like people. Um, I guess if that's my way to be able to tell and share a story that maybe someone is not aware of or to remind someone of something that um that is a thing I can do I guess anyone who has um ideas about things we can do to make the world a better place or what you do um I'd be super in, interested to hear like how is especially those of us amongst us who, who draw and are artists like how can we um, you know do use our art as a force for for beauty and good in the world I guess all right <laughs> about halfway in I feel like the likeness is a bit off here I've stretched out the hair a bit much but we're just gonna have to go for it because we're halfway in <laughs> um, It's good to see people in YouTube saying that they'd like to win a sketch. Um, so there's going to be two, two giveaways. One has already been announced and uh, anyone who's watching the live stream and drawing along, if you tell me in the chat that you'd like to win a sketch, then maybe you'll win one. I'll send it to anywhere in the world. Um, it's been interesting 
I think, or Mamata, you posted something about, uh, I think it was you, I saw in your stories, that reposting about like, why isn't the media um, like framing the revolution that's happening there in a, in a more positive light? And which I think is really interesting. And my kind of immediate uh, reaction was like, I, I think a lot of the mainstream re media, uh, because it's, I guess a lot of what's being said is like from within Iran, um, it's difficult for things to change with the current regime. And so there, there needs to be like um, pressure uh, or it's difficult, um, but how can the international community kind of um, bring about or f help facilitate a positive change. Um, but my, my kind of reaction to why isn't there a more positive framing of this story um, that I think in, in some places it's like uh, that the powers that be perhaps don't want to kind of see that a populist uprising can bring about such powerful change because there is there is so much power in um, within each of us together, and that we're at, we are not isolated individuals, and together we can really we can really do things. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there was just a in in the Zoom chat that the people in Iran have not nothing left to lose and they they have no money anymore and they have no freedom and they they need to act, and that's something I heard um, from a um, Iranian friend here was that it's it's terrible what's happening but it's it's also good that something's happening because something needs to happen like it needs to change, um, which is was an interesting kind of uh, perspective. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a very uh, very di difficult situation. All right, that's 10 minutes already. <laughs> I can see a lot about this that I would, yeah, yeah. It just goes by so fast. I, I can see a lot about this that I would like to keep working on and like change. I think on my desk, it looks better than it does on screen. Um, but that's all right, it's, it was just 10 minutes. Um, if, you, if you want to, I wonder how to go about this. It, like if you'd like to keep working on any of these, you can either rewatch this live stream, the replay. Hi everyone on Instagram, if you want to know what I'm talking about. Oh, I can just show you. Here's the sketch I just did. Um, come over to YouTube and the links in my bio, you can come join the live stream. Um, I will, what will I do? Yeah, you could come back to the replay and grab screenshots of the reference. Um, I, I had it all up in my stories, but they will disappear soon. Um, yeah, but you can keep, keep working on any of these if you want to. Um, and just a little reminder, anyone who would love to win one of these sketches, um, make sure you tell me in the, the YouTube chat. Um, all 
All right, Lisa, you'll have to tell me about Alex Kingston because I was not familiar with Alex Kingston. We're going to draw it. Okay, an English actress. Ah, okay. So Alex Kingston is known for playing the wife of Doctor Who. Um, awesome, cool. So let's... We'll, if anyone on YouTube knows about Alex Kingston, what she's been in, what's your favorite Alex Kingston uh, performance or whatever, put it in the chat because I, as yet, do not really know anything about her apart from she's drinking a cup of coffee. Um, so let's sketch for another 10 minutes. Um, all right, so it's interesting just kind of thinking now why was it that I wasn't totally happy with this? Like, what could have been better? How can I shift and adapt to that? This is something that also happened on Wednesday at this event where I was sketching, where um, that sometimes I was like, oh, this this is not really flowing. But let's let's go for it. The Scarlet Witches. The, the discovery of witches. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. Uh, Wednesday, I sketched with uh, Ronky Ponk, Ulrike Selders, and Sibylla Linhardt at an event in Dusseldorf. And it was 10 minute sketches, although a lot of them, I don't know, it wasn't so, so strict wasn't really kept to strict 10 minutes as I had imagined. Um, I've already stretched out this a bit, but that's all right, could be fun. <laughs> Just go with the distortion. Um, yeah, but that was interesting. We, we were sketching for Hermes, which uh, they were releasing a couple of new scents, perfume, and they had people there from perfumeries who they were introducing this sense to and there was food and there was portraiture. So the four of us were doing portraits of these people, which was really cool because it's the first time in years that I have um, caught a train somewhere and to be sketching people live, gazing into their eyes was um, super interesting. Uh, I loved it. And I'm super keen to do a lot more of these events. Um, I'm already thinking, how can I organize events of my own? And um, how can I do more of this? Because it's, it's really, it's, it's what I love doing, drawing people and then actually hanging out with people. Is, uh, it's really cool. Um, so yeah, so we were there sketching and, and some of them. It's interesting to be in a, a situation sitting directly across from a person and in my own process thinking, oh, there's something that's not that I'm not content with. It's pretty different when it's like drawing a famous stranger from an Instagram photo. But to be sitting across from someone, Sibylla is, is on Instagram, hello. Um, to be sitting across from someone and thinking, oh, this is not really working out. And then you're, you're about to show them and they're actually, they're looking at you as you're doing it, they're looking at you and um, everyone seemed pretty happy with the result. But it was interesting within my own process to think, oh, how could this, how could I be sketching something that I would feel better about? Um, what is it? I guess it's a different context, um, like being in a, um, at a live event and being paid and like wanting to perform well. And then um, I know that some of my six minute sketches that I do on Tuesdays, I really like, and then to sit doing something for 10 minutes, I'm like, oh, this is not, this is not happening for me. Um, and it's interesting within that process to know, okay, how can I change this for the next one? How can I, how can I put back in the, the looseness and life that I enjoy into the next sketch? And I already feel like this is happening with this, this sketch. Um, and I guess there's a lot of different kind of things that can influence the context of how you go about it discussing uh, 
oppression and revolutions while drawing. There's also a w weighty kind of side conversation. Um, and I also don't want to disregard the gravity of these situations. There are so many things going on and whatever's going on, I, I, I always find it so good to be together, sketching, creating with people, um, to do this focused thing. And I think it's really interesting and important to have our things that we do when like the news and the world is like, Whoa, what's going on? Um, I always find this act of creation and coming together with people is very, very good to be doing. And then being able to, you know, keep going and keep creating and keep seeing things in life which are beautiful and intrigue us and not to like the, the gravity, the weight of these other situations is still there, but it's also really important to, um, to see the beauty in life. And I think, um, drawing and painting is a good way to practice doing that. We're halfway in five minutes. Um, um, I'll just show you on Instagram. This is the, the sketch I've got so far. If you want to watch me paint it, go over to the YouTube link in my bio. Um, what am I going to do now? What color do I want? Um, fill in the, the shadow, shadowy shapes. I, I, greatly appreciate big blocks of shadow shapes to help define um, the portrait. This. I think even though it was a very complex image, that first Ganesha piece that we did, that was, uh, um, I, th I think there are a lot of cool shapes, shadow shapes in that one. And it kind of uh, lives from the interaction of the light and dark shapes. And since we don't have a lot of time, it's always an interesting exercise to simplify, um, simplify the shapes that we see and get something on the paper which conveys the sense of form. If anyone has um, questions along the way, feel free to ask. Perhaps between portraits would be the best time to ask things because then I can take a look at the chat and I'm happy to address any questions that people may have. Ha! Huh. How did I make the eyes look down? Was just asked in Zoom. Um, the, the angle, I guess, of the eyes um, if, if you look at the shape, the perspective of the head, you, you can see like there's this big area at the top of the eyelids and uh, the kind of curve of the eyes in the reference, um, just to try and uh, mimic that. I think that's perhaps how I went about it. Thank you for asking. And it's important to well, I find it important in the way that I draw is um, to really to be aware, try and stay attuned to what I'm actually looking at. And if I, because we know how eyes look frontally and often we'll default to drawing that kind of frontal perspective. But if you, um, if you kind of let go of the way you know that things look and try and draw what you actually see and in each moment, like in such a short portrait, it's like a series of very quick decisions. I've obviously practiced this a lot. Um, every Tuesday we meet and draw together. Everyone's welcome to join. Um, but the more you practice, um, the more you kind of develop a way of stylizing and simplifying the things that you see and finding a, a, an efficient way to, to represent them. That's the theory. <laughs> 
keep drawing and tell me in a few years if if it works out for you <laughs> i also think um there's that and there's also the combination of practicing a lot but also try doing things really differently like try doing simplified like taking a, a broad brush and with as as few strokes as possible try and do a portrait things like that i find are very helpful in the context of doing quick sketches because if you um if you work on uh, that kind of reduction and stylization then it may become more accessible in times of need uh, when you're drawing fast and you quickly want to get something down um, the more practice we have the uh, hopefully the easier it is for us to access uh, a brief way of representing shapes apparently hopefully i think it's working out for me but I, I draw a lot but we can all we can all draw a lot i guess it's difficult to make time sometimes but 10 minute portraits i was wondering um you know there are all these things like Oct um, inktober october there are so many different challenges now 30 faces 30 days but I was thinking at some point, maybe it'd be cool to do a 10 minute portrait challenge, like every day do one 10 minute portrait, because it's difficult to have like taken an hour every day to practice. But um, if it's something quick, that's 10 and a half minutes already. Um, and I, I feel, uh, I, I think I'm a bit more content with the way this worked out compared to this what is it that's different i don't know i feel like i can press the face a bit here it should be expanded a bit but um it was interesting to to kind of enter the next sketch with like okay i want to there's something something missing i want to do something differently and then trying a different approach um just have a look in the chat if anyone's asking anything um Sayani, so have a tiny little toy Ganesh, which I've had since I was a child and moved around with me wherever I've lived. That's awesome. So cool. I have a, we have a little Ganesh statue, a little Murti on our dashboard in the car. Um, and in my studio space in Göttingen, I have one as well. That's, that's beautiful. Um, if you'd like to win one of these sketches, Make sure you tell me. Kunstraum Janos, hello. Um, hi, Instagram. I'm, I'm, I'm live streaming on YouTube. And if you come over and watch and draw along and tell me in the chat that you would like to win or you would like to have one of these sketches that maybe you'll win one, I'm going to pick someone and someone will get one. Um, Gada Gabi did my first try today using soft pastels as watercolors and loved it. That's cool. Um, all right so I, i'm just looking through the comments here i wish i could like um bring them up uh so that you could see when i'm I, i'll put this sketch back here for a moment just while i'm reading the comments um all he says is glaubt die man aller steff what did steff ask if you're going to get drawn um, Roseanne would love one of my sketches cool anyone who wants a sketch tell me in the chat on YouTube that you'd li like one and maybe you'll get one um, let's sketch I didn't know who this was Hans Albers I thought this was a pretty intense photo I looked it up um, Uli suggested that we draw Hans and um, just from Wikipedia, that he was between the 30s and 60s, like the most famous German actor. Um, and this is, this is such an intense photo. Another black and white one. So whether it's black and white or color, I guess we can use whatever colors we like. Um, let's draw Hans. Uh, anyone in the chat who wants to weigh in and tell us a bit about Hans, 
because uh, I, I knew nothing about him. I still know very little apart from he looked like this at one point. Um, feel free to educate us. Or anyone in Zoom who knows about Hans, let me know. <laughs> Too young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Let me let me just re retell that because that's super interesting. So uh, I'm just being educated over on Zoom. Anyone who wants to get in the Zoom room or get on YouTube if you're watching on Instagram, um, uh, may I say, who just educated me, my teacher in the Zoom room. I think it's probably okay. Yeah, Oma, Oma, Oma Mata. <laughs> oh, it's it's wonderful. It's 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 very beneficial to know some professional Klugscheiße. Um So, Oma Mata was just telling us that Hans was a very an actor in very successful films um, during the time of the Third Reich, and he was married to a Jewish woman, and was it so? The government, I guess, told him he needs to get divorced because he was. I guess internationally, probably, or within Germany as well, like the face of Germany, if he's like the most famous actor of the time. Um, and so they demanded that he get divorced and he said no. Um, and so he saved, saved the life of his wife and some other Jewish people as well and stood strong uh, in the face of oppression. Okay. Oh, thank, um, oh, what is that? Um, ah, the word is eluding me. So he, so he, uh, yeah, he, 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 his, his integrity. So he, he was an actor in, uh, like propagandist Third Reich fascist films, right? But he, yeah, um, but he saved the lives of, Jewish people and he uh, so he was in those films but um, still maintained his integrity and um, that's that's super interesting uh, mm -hmm. okay Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His influence. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's super interesting. So, what? Well, so would you say that he was like a, a, an activist within the context of also being a or like 
No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so he um he it was clear that he wasn't a fan of the fascist party was the so the last thing I've just been informed about. But so he worked in cinema during the time of the Third Reich. Um and acted in fascist films, but um, through his popularity was able to... Uh, uh, so one of the things was there were other actors at the time who were married to Jewish partners who were forced to divorce, and they did, but because he was so, um, I guess, loved and popular, uh, he stood his ground and said no, and uh, like was lucky <laughs> so but but it was clear that he was an actor but was also not into what his employers were doing <laughs> in the third Reich interesting ah okay Baron Münchhausen Um, six minutes in. I have this wild orange color, which I've hardly ever used. And um, at the Hermes party, uh, they had all this orange, just like their color. Also on Instagram, I saw that they use this orange a lot. And I've almost never used this orange paint. But then I, I was like, oh, I can finally use my orange paint. And I gave like everyone an orange background. So we'll just pretend that Hans was also at the Hermes product launch <laughs> in Dusseldorf. It's a cool cut. Yeah, so these are watercolors. I have my, um, I have Schmincke watercolors over here. I have these. Uh, I have not used the Inktense pencils so far. I thought I would. But I'm I'm doing the the pencil drawing with these Prismacolor pencils, and then I'm using watercolors on top. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. I was so interesting um, sitting sitting next to Ulrika. Like she's just so. She's so brave and courageous with her watercolors. Um, it was really amazing to see. I think she also, I think I did 17 portraits at the event, um, which is less than 10 minutes each, like if I had gone through all the time, but we, we did have a little break. and um, But I, I thought it was going to be like, I had figured out it should be about 24 without any breaks, 24 portraits, but I did about 17. But um, some people left and I guess some people probably weren't interested in being drawn. But yeah, oh, it was so nice um, doing this event together. And I think it's such a cool opportunity to, to paint together with other artists and to see what they're doing, what tricks they have and, and the different approach because all, all four of us had a really different way to, to approach the sketches. I want this to dry. <laughs> I don't have enough PowerPoints left for the, the hairdryer. Um, but we didn't have on Wednesday. It would have been funny at this uh, luxury event in the middle of uh, our portraits to be like Woo! so we had to do without hair dryers <laughs> yeah this is a uh, faber castell prismacolor magenta pencil so you can draw and then watercolor 
paint on top of it and it stays put. It is not a water soluble pencil, which is cool. Um, for doing these quick watercolor, watery sketches. Um, Cause in the the last one of last one of these 10 minute sketch live streams I did, I, I was using uh, Derwent, Derwent Intense Pencils and they would lose all their definition when I went over them with water. So yeah, phone, we can, we can hear. Thank you. Thanks for muting. <laughs> um, that's 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, it, it could do with a little bit more time, but that's also been fun. His face is much broader than I've drawn him, which is interesting. It's interesting to look up and see on screen to see the reference right next to what I've done and kind of spot the um, the inconsistencies between the reference and the image. Uh -huh, interesting, interesting. Um, so thank you, Oli, for the suggestion that we draw Hans. Um, uh, once again, <laughs> if you're watching on Instagram, you could come and see what I'm doing on YouTube. And anyone on YouTube, tell me in the chat if you want to win a sketch, and maybe you will. If you'd like to have one, it's a giveaway, it's a giveaway. Maybe I'll do a giveaway every time I do a live stream. I just have this stack of drawings I don't know what to do with, and if you like them, then maybe you could have one. <laughs> or if you want to buy one, you could also buy one. But I'm happy to give them away too. Who else we got? Um, Jonathan Banks. Oh, this is a... Uh, so this actor from Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, pretty hardcore, feel bad <laughs> series. Like I remember in the, the, first, the first episode when I watched it, it was like, you know, you've got feel good um, shows where you watch them and you just kind of zone out and you're like, oh, this makes me feel good. I remember watching the first episode of Breaking Bad. I was like, oh, this is like feel bad. And it's called Breaking Bad. It's intense. Um, but this actor, uh, Jonathan Banks, is wonderful and um, found this really awesome shot for us to sketch from. So thank you, Tanya, for suggesting. Um, let's just keep drawing. I'll just have a little drink. You could start drawing before me if you want a bit extra time. <clears throat> what kind of paper am I using? Thank you for asking. Dimakopoulos. This is Hanamula Nostalgi paper. And this is like my go-to paper for ink. And it, it can get a little bit wet. Like it's, um, it gets a bit warped. You can see here, but it can hold hold a bit of water, which is good. Um, it's, as you can see here, 190 gram, 90 pound paper. And I like it, it's pretty smooth. I apologize for this shadow here, but it's right. We just have to live with it. Um, that's right, in the, um, the ink, the, the, the calligraphy pen portrait class, this is the paper that I'm using. This is an A5, it's a smaller, smaller pad. You got some as well? Yeah, I, 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 it's such good paper, I love it. I love it too. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently it was, um, it was hard in the US for some people to get this paper. Uh, perhaps in the larger sizes, uh, but in um, was it was it where? Did, what was the site called? Dick Blick. I'm glad you liked it. Cool. Yeah. So at Dick Blick, apparently you can get Hanamula Nostagi paper in the, the States if you want to try it out. It's, it's good. It's good paper. I really like it. It's, um, I think it's a lot more. Oh, that's a good question. Um, 
it's a lot more affordable than a lot of like watercolor papers, uh, which is good. And which ties in nicely to this. Um, Jody T, thank you for asking. Do you feel this way of working helps with perfectionism coming from a perfectionist? Yes. And I also, I also feel like using inexpensive paper. So this is not like the worst paper. Um, I, I think this, what this is, 50 sheets and cost seven euros, which is about $7 at the moment. So 50 sheets of paper, it's, there's a lot more expensive paper. Um, and I think using materials that are inexpensive also helps with perfectionism. Because I remember when I had this like super expensive French watercolor paper that I just never painted anything because I didn't want to. I was like, <laughs> I paid so much for this paper. I can't even, it's got to be good. If I paint something, it has to be really good because the paper's so expensive. So I just didn't paint anything. <laughs> um, so yes, I think it's so liberating to do quick sketches like this and also liberating to use materials which don't cost the world. Um, that, that's a really good question. I also think, Jody, that maybe you should come sketch with us on Tuesdays because that has helped me a lot. Because when we do these time sketches, like, but, in two hours, we do about 26 portraits, uh, starting at 30 seconds, getting up to six minutes. I know you've been there um, back in the day, the early days. Um, and, and the great thing about that, and also these 10 minute portraits as well, is like, you know, you can't expect it to be an incredible masterpiece. If you, if you get lucky, maybe you'll be happy with it and be like, oh, this is actually pretty cool for, for 10 minutes or for two minutes. Um, but the thing of just doing so many of them and not really caring too much about the results, it's really practicing, looking, seeing, mark making. It's just practice, practice, practice. And it has definitely helped me get over the fear of using my art supplies <laughs> and, uh, and starting. Like th that used to be a thing. Like even starting a piece, it's like, oh, have to like you know have to get in the zone have to be super inspired and i think just like oh i've got 10 minutes or oh my kids are silent they're eating um <laughs> like seizing the moment and just getting into it uh is a, a very good cure for perfectionism and the funny thing about it is the more you do it i think the easier it gets to do it and i can see how my work has improved since I started all of this quick sketching. And, um, and it's also great that people who've been coming to Tuesday sessions a lot. Um, I, don't, I don't want to speak on anyone's behalf, but I, I see, um, I can see development and changes in people's work. And some people have been sketching with us now for about two years and um, or if it's one year, or if it's a couple mo months, um, or if you only came once, that's great too. Um, but yeah, the the more more you practice, the easier it is to kind of let go about the idea of being having it be perfect. So thank you for asking that good question, Jody. Um, yeah, the cost of materials. I think that's a really a big issue, um, and th that was a great thing about ink making as well, because uh, I remember. I like I bought all these fancy paints and compared to some people, they almost look unused. Like Ulrika has these holes in the middle of her paint because she uses so much pigment. And I can remember the early days when I like, I spent all this money on my materials. I'm like, oh, I can't use the paper and I can't use the paint because it costs too much. Um, and then when I started making natural ink, uh, I would have like a liter of ink <laughs> and, um, and it cost me time to make it and then I could use as much of it as I wanted and that was I think it really helped me relax and um, not be scared about using my materials as well really cool dimple over here so yeah anyone who has questions over on YouTube ask and I shall do my best to uh, answer them. And if I don't answer, just r ask your question again in the chat and then maybe I'll see it. 
and hello everyone on Instagram. <laughs> you can't you can't see what's going on, but I'm doing a, a YouTube live stream. If you go over to the YouTube link in my bio, you'll you'll be able to see everything I'm doing. And anyone who's on YouTube, you can scroll down to the description and see that there's a link about drawing with me on Tuesdays. If you follow that link, even though it's not Tuesday, it will transport you into my Zoom room and you'll be hanging out and draw with us in Zoom, which is where some people are saying really interesting things about things sometimes. But there's also a lot of people who are silent and just sitting there drawing together. And that's also really nice. <laughs> what was that about nothing? Saying nothing. Also a lot of people pleasantly saying nothing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I just saw that you're here, Connie. I was like, oh, Connie's here. Awesome. <laughs> People are just saying hello on Zoom. They've been like silent for an hour now and just saying hello. <laughs> Do you feel nourished? <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, good. Enjoy. Uh. What a terrible situation to be in. Barbara's in Zoom and is too far away from her chocolate. It's it's so, it sounds very troublesome. <laughs> oh, you could write it, write him a message. <laughs> a very excellent conversation happening as soon at the moment just in case everyone's watching this I'm wondering why I'm laughing and saying nothing it's because funny it's good I love it Um, just a little process kind of observation that um, in the pencil drawing I did I kind of there were shapes certain shapes that I drew which I knew okay this is going to be a shadow shape this is a shadow shape so that when I come with the paint I can just be like bloop 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 and go into those areas um, and I guess that's a way of training myself to recognize these shadow shapes which potentially you you could also go straight to the brush like we do with the direct ink drawings. I guess that's theoretically also possible with watercolor. Um, What what's the blub blub blub? Ah, blub 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 blub. It's like the the paint um the the fill tool. Ah, oh, like digitally. This is looking a bit overexposed. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make my camera feed a bit darker here. I hope that you can see like the lines and stuff a bit better. It looks very dark now, but for some reason it looks like a bit hard to see. Oh, it's a... 
Yeah, it's a trick. Um, oh, 30 seconds left. Okay. How can how can we finish this portrait in 30 seconds? Um, <laughs> not. Not. That's a good answer. We can just not finish it. <laughs> um, I just think, okay, there's a few areas where I, I just want a bit more contrast and definition. So like eyes, nostril, mouth is often a, a quick, quick way to add a bit more contrast um, when you press for time. Right now, we just reached 10 minutes. So this is a fun one. I think the, the angle, the perspective made the neck a bit long, but there's something kind of stretched out and cool about it that I like. All right, I'll stop. I would like to keep going, but I'm going to stop. Um, okay, just having a look over on YouTube chat. Um, Gozalia wants to win too. Anyone who wants to win a sketch, tell me in the YouTube chat and maybe you will. Um, Demarcopoulos, uh, what time are your Tuesday draw alongs? 7.30 p.m. German time. Central European time. This weekend there's going to be a. Um, we're going to winter time, so I, if I get that right, we're going like back an hour. And I know that a lot of places are not changing times yet. So this Tuesday, uh, Jane Jeg Design is going to be hosting a bridge session, the the Tuesday pregame warm up. Um, and doing around the world poses. So the coming Tuesday, you could potentially sketch for three hours if you really want to. Um, Jane is going to host the first hour, which is going to be at six thirty p.m. German time. But it's a, it's a it's a time synchronization thing with daylight savings. Um, so it's always seven thirty p.m. German time every every Tuesday, and it's just with the daylight saving things at the moment that there's going to be that extra thing happening. So everyone's welcome to join, and it's it's awesome. It's very, lots of fun and and good practice. Um, Gada Gabi, you drew it along with the first three and really enjoyed it. And now you're enjoying my sketch. Thank you. Thanks for drawing along. Thank you for enjoying. Um, and you'd also like to win a sketch. Very cool, cool. And if you if you're watching on YouTube and haven't given me a thumbs up yet or tapped for a heart on Instagram, um, do that. That'd be cool. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should do that too. No pressure, but you should. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Who's next? Who's next? Nilia Moon. This, this was a cool response to my question. Who should we draw? Nilia Moon said, me. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so this is Nilia Moon on Instagram. Um, I will be tagging everyone who's on Instagram. I, 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 once I've, once this is all finished on YouTube, I'm going to put in timestamps so you'll be able to go to the specific sketches. And on YouTube, when I share these, I'll also tag who it is if they're on Instagram. Um, and, and you can also tag them um, if you want. And use the hashtag Drawing with Dylan if you're posting. And tag me so that I can see it as well. So let's draw... Nilia Moon for 10 minutes. Um, hmm? Okay. So there was just a, an, an anonymous comment in Zoom, can't draw women today. Um, it was really interesting uh, at the Hermes drawing session, there was a, a lot of um, beautiful presentation. Uh, and it's, I know that some people, including myself, have some, sometimes been quite challenged with um, drawing for flawless faces, let's say it like that. Um, and that was really interesting. My tea is cold. So another anonymous comment in Zoom, so pretty. Yeah, there's something about um, youthful, flawless, pretty faces 
that uh, is challenging to draw because there's um, it's difficult to find your way around. Um, really clear shadow shapes are very helpful. Wrinkles are great. Glasses are great. Facial hair. All these all these things that kind of get in the way <laughs> are, are really interesting um, because they help you find your way around the sketch, uh, around the drawing. So it's interesting and challenging to to work on portraits that um, don't have so much. You've got to take this leap of faith some, and where you're like positioning things and not overdraw things. So let's let's draw. Maybe some of you are drawing already. Uh, time starts now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Or a beard. If a, a, a misplaced shadow or a, a, too, a shadow that's too heavy can look like a beard. In some cases, that's really, you know, that's fine. Um, but it might not always be what you're going for or what your subject is going for. That... So that was something I think that was um, uh, at some moments, I think a bit challenging at the event on Wednesday that I was sketching at. The people there often obviously put a lot of effort into their presentation, the flawless presentation. And then to be sitting with them and to draw something and be like, oh, oh, I hope this, you know, I, I do have confidence in the way that I work and draw, um, but then to be sitting right there with that person um, and you're about to show it to them. I don't know. It, it makes makes the experience interesting and different. E everyone, apart from one person, reacted well. <laughs> like, eh, they were happy. I did a group portrait. It was five people sitting together and they were laughing and they, they were colleagues and it was a really nice group. Um, but one of one of the five, when I showed them, said, "It's the Altman Schweinchen," <laughs> and <laughs> um, which is like, "I look like a piglet." Um, and as I was drawing, I was aware she, she was looking around a lot and talking, and it was fine. And there was something that I I hadn't managed to kind of capture about her face, and um, so that that was the only. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I could have been clearer with my. Uh, yeah, well, e e everyone, everyone's beautiful. Um, everyone is fun to draw, and it's always, you know, they're always challenging things. And I, I noticed as I was drawing, like, oh, this is this person's kind of tricky to draw. But it's good to, you know, it's good to learn to be able to be diverse in what we draw subject matter. I used to have a tendency to draw wrinkly old men, which is wonderful. But it's, I then realize it's because they, you know, they've got so much to draw. <laughs> um, and... And someone pointed out, was like, oh, so that's your type. Wrinkly old men is like what you're into. It's like, yeah, they're just so good to draw. Um, but, you know, it's good good to practice and be able to confidently. And I think this thing of like looking, drawing what you see rather than what you think is there and just kind of being able to reduce things to what you actually see. Theoretically, <laughs> when you do that, you should be able to, like it doesn't matter what the thing is you're drawing, how it looks, or how they look. Um, that if you keep practicing and can kind of get closer and closer, the more we practice about faithfully representing what we see, 
or maybe not even faithfully, maybe just in an interesting, playful way. Have fun with it. That's another thing about um, letting go of perfectionism. Like, have fun. And um, even if it's like, whoa, this looks wrong, um, that maybe it can be still be fun to keep drawing and go with it. Pretty girls are all about contrast. Was that the comment? Okay, so an, an anonymous hint for, from Zoom. This pretty girls are all about eyeliner, nostrils, and lips and contrast and knowing where to put the contrast. Yeah, it's all about contrast. Pretty girls are all about contrast. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, already over halfway in. It's, it's just like, I feel like there's there's not much to this drawing, but we've already spent like half the time and I'm still drawing. So let's just uh, go, for, go for it. We were talking. We were addressing a serious challenge. Um, and, uh, <laughs> making it difficult to do the actual drawing because we're talking about how difficult it can be. <laughs> So it's all about contrast and putting things in the right places. <laughs> no. Okay, nope. <laughs> ah, she's so pretty because there's nothing there. So... <laughs> So, so, uh, that 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 would sound that would sound really bad. Uh, that would sound really bad out of context on YouTube because you didn't hear what was just said. But uh, about this artist who would just draw really pretty girls and sometimes, what was the quote? It's just two two holes f for the nose, two dots for the eyes, and that's it. <laughs> and it's like wow, that's a that and big lips and like oh, it's so pretty because there's just <laughs> there's nothing there, it's just holes holes in the page, and uh, and then it looks pretty. Because it's open to interpretation. Did I make it worse? Did I, was was that not an eloquent explanation of of what was just said in our in our private conversation? It sound it sounded bad. Maybe it sounds worse now. Um, but you'd have the context if you were also in another Zoom room with us. You'd be able to hear everything. That's all right. Oh, oh my goodness. There's just like two minutes left. I haven't done anything yet. This this is a kind of situation I found myself in at, at the gig on Wednesday, where it's like, oh, got to be careful. Got to make this pretty. And it's, it's just so much harder to draw. <sighs> I, I won't repeat that. Oh, it was so posh. This may this might be a bit ignorant, but I thought we were going to be drawing for a logistics company, like a postal service, which is which is also called Hermes, um, which is the the name of a Greek god. And I was like, oh, because it was interesting because the the agency that commissioned us was like um, told us. Oh, I looked up their website and it's like. Um, they they do events with luxury brands. And I was like, oh, luxury brands, who we're going to be working for. And then when they told us, I was like, oh, we're going to be working for like a postal service. Okay, luxury, that's that's cool. And um, and, and I think it was Omar Mata who was like, nee, Hermes. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. It wasn't you? Who was it? Someone on Tuesday. Someone. An Anya. Ah, okay. So someone... 
someone from my group of friends on, on um, other other Anya. Okay. Um, so someone pointed out to me, it's like, no, no, that's a totally different uh, company. So it was, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, whoops. Really? It's not for the postal service? Um, so yes, yeah, uh, I am not vel well versed in um, perfume brands um, and luxury designer labels. Purses, purses and scarves, and they've they also. Ah, so maybe this was a really special thing that they were doing these perfumes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're gone a bit over time. This is Nilia Moon. Nilia, N I L Y A, Moon. Oh, thank you. Um, just add a bit of contrast, a bit more definition. So, this was a tricky one. Ah, Gada Gabi, the mugshots of criminals from 1920 to share some weeks ago were amazing to draw too. They were so cool. Maybe. Maybe we could do a live stream where we just go through those mugshots because there's so many incredible images in that series. Um, ah, and there's something about that method of photography as well, which is really like high in contrast. And back in the day, like all the photos that get shown, which have kind of survived from that era, they're like, they're all so good. They're just really cool photos. Um, so yeah, that would be, that, that'd be, that could be a really cool live stream event vintage mugshots. Okay, going to stop now because I've gone over time with this one. Hello, on Instagram. Um, I'm doing a live stream on YouTube at the moment. And I just did this sketch. It was tricky and kind of minimalist. Okay, um, I, I'll put it in the Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the chat on YouTube Nilia oh I won't put that at in because it's not a YouTube name Nilia Moon um, yeah as I said before I'll go through when I share these um, when I'm finished I will tag tag the people that we drew as well um, anyone who's watching there are Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Um, and if you would like to maybe win a sketch, if you'd like to have one of these sketches and you get to choose it, um, in the chat on YouTube, say, I'd like to win one of these. And um, and then I won't be able to, I, I think it'd be tricky to do live in the live stream, but, um, but very soon I'll be able to say who it is who won. And then we can like chat about what, what one you'd like to have. So um, I'll be giving away a sketch to one of the YouTube participants. Um, how's everyone doing? Good. Okay, yeah, the name was a bit different. Um, it was like the same letters of Nelia, but in a different order or something. So um, it's a bit tricky, the Instagram name. Um, Mandy Patinkin. <laughs> so, so here we have some wrinkles, facial hair. So, so you know, there's some, there's something to draw here. This is going to be uh, easier. It's going to be really easy. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got. To... 
So um, I, I also don't know a lot about Manny Patinkin, so feel free to fill me in. Um, he's what? Interesting. When I was at, when I was still at school and university, I used to watch a lot of things, but um, for a long time, I haven't really watched much, so I'm, I'm a bit out of the loop. But it, it looks like he's been acting for a while, probably. <laughs> so uh, maybe I, I, I could have watched some of his things, but... but the... um, Jody, you just asked, do I do live streams each Saturday? No. But I've recently started a bi-weekly rhythm. So the idea, unless something gets in the way, and I think Christmas and New Year's are kind of going to get in the way, um, but I'm going to do like two weekly, bi-weekly live streams. And I love this quick sketch format, but I will also be doing some, some longer pieces as well. I'm not sure if I should make every second one longer pieces or just kind of what I feel like doing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's this is my a recent idea to do these every second Saturday. Yes, yeah, so I was just thinking yesterday. I think it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. I was thinking about doing like a um, ten minute portrait challenge thing. I've never kind of made my own challenge. I participated in a bunch of them, but I think doing quick portraits is a a cool way to. Um, just practice a lot and I've been thinking about doing um, kind of weekday mornings is usually when I have time to work and maybe I could even do like live stream a 10 minute portrait each day for a month or something I don't know if that will work out but it just could be an idea so there will still be the Saturday evening like this time but maybe I'll do a bunch more uh, like smaller live streams would be could be interesting. And Shannon, when are we going to do another video together? All right, we will. Awesome. So for, the, for those who haven't seen it already, hi everyone on Instagram. This is probably not very interesting on Instagram, um, but over on YouTube, I'm doing live stream sketching and you can come watch on YouTube. Um, yeah, for those who haven't seen it, on my YouTube channel, there is an amazing video where Shannon and I draw each other and it was super fun. And um, I thought it was good. I didn't notice you. You, you six. You succeeded. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is a weird word, isn't it? But well, I get a, a seedy. You could say it was a seedy moment. Is that a better word? <laughs> um, interesting things are being said in Zoom. If you want to get into the Zoom conversation, I'm wondering why I'm laughing and not talking, um, then you could get in the Zoom room. Uh, <laughs> 
Shannon said, come to Zoom. And they'd be able to hear the interesting things that she's saying. So. <laughs> um, this is interesting. There's not like there's not like one really clear shadow side with this portrait. There is um, there's some great wrinkles and shapes and facial hair and stuff, but it's not like sometimes there's a really nice shadow side, like there was with this one. This one does not have that, so let's go with it. See what happens. I said it wouldn't be difficult. It yeah. Well, there's but. Uh, but there is more to draw. I think it's it's also not totally easy, but I think it's less difficult than the last one was because there's more to draw. Yeah, cool. Yeah, sure. We we can schedule things. There are really important things happening over in the Zoom room right now. Um, well, I, the the Thursday evening when we did, that's when we recorded the last one and our attempt, which for various reasons, uh, one reason <laughs> that it wasn't live. Um, so Shannon and I have recorded a couple of things pre-recorded and Shannon has done this amazing job editing. Um, but we've like realized that it needs to be live because it'd be so much easier. <laughs> when you accidentally until said, have you done all the facial features yet? <laughs> okay. Um, if if it's is it just lines or have you started painting stuff? If you've done the facial features at the right tilt, and but the the shape of the head is the wrong tilt, I would just do another outline and do like the shape of the head again, and that could be interesting. You just have this like like a double exposure. Yeah, yeah, because so sometimes. Sometimes when I draw something I'm like, well, that's that's totally in the wrong place. If I notice it, and then I would just like redraw, like put the mouth in the right place, or put the eye in the right place, or redraw some lines. Um, and that potentially could help. <laughs> um, what's going on with this drawing? It's already eight minutes. I thought this one was going to be really easy, but I haven't got very far yet. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think maybe Shannon, uh, Thursday evening could be a good time. Um, a date. I don't know. I don't know what dates Thursday evenings are. It's a date, whichever Thursday. All right, whatever Thursday, it's a date. So there's going to be some really cool live streams where Shannon and I, maybe we'll make a podcast of it too. Lisa, you can share your podcasting experience with us. Um, because the idea I think it's a brilliant idea <clears throat> we are going to have conversations with people wonderful interesting normal people like we all are we are all like that right so um, no, normal wonderful people which potentially anyone is um, maybe artists poets uh, anyone uh, we're going to chat with them, we're going to draw them, and it could be maybe interesting things will be said. And so it'll be interesting to watch because you'll get to see both of us how we draw this person and interesting potentially to listen to because maybe someone will say something worth listening to. <laughs> maybe you'll learn something that you wouldn't have learned otherwise, which is, you know, what's so potentially wonderful about the podcasting format. <laughs> yeah, cool.
yeah yeah i also thought that was really cool and that has not been released anywhere yet um because it okay all right Oh, I will check that out. Oh, we've finished. This has gone over 10 minutes. Um, there we go. Mandy Patinkin. Oh, why Why does this not look better? Maybe because my... No, I, I just mean about the quality of the picture. I have this really good camera. And it's just like I can hardly even see what I've drawn. So I'm just changing the camera settings. I think the ISO was set too high. Um, does that look any better? I'm, st I'm still learning how to do this. That, like this, anyone who's curious about doing anything, um, just try, just get started. Start messy. That's like the thing to do, right? And then you learn as you do things. I don't know. That doesn't look any clearer, does it? A bit clearer? Because I've, I've put the eyes. If I go like this, it's crispy and super dark. Um, ah, I wonder. Um, I'm just playing around with the camera here. That's a bit better, isn't it? Cool. Okay, thanks for sticking with me while I figure out how to use my equipment. Um, it's getting dark here. Okay, so there was a question in German. Ich verstehe es nicht, wie es funktioniert. Wie kriegst du die Bilder? die du als Vorlage zu malen hast. Wie kann man sich bewerben, um deinen Sketch zu gewinnen, Dylan? Genau so. Du hast dich gerade beworben. Um, anyone who would like to win a sketch, I'll be giving away a sketch to someone who says in the YouTube chat that they would like to win a sketch. Maybe you will. Um, and then I'll go through uh, once this is done and see who said that. Anyone who's watching can say that. And if you're watching, hello, Stitch87, I'm live streaming on YouTube, as well as doing this um, talking head live stream on Instagram. And I just did this sketch of Mandy Patinkin, which will be able to see better. Oh, Stitch87 would like to win a sketch too. So come over, come over to YouTube and say that in the YouTube chat, because that's where that's where it's at. Um, there's and there's also people in Zoom sketching together. Um, and how do I get Kozalia, can you can you understand English? Can I answer in English? So the question was like, how do I get the the photos that we're using as a um, reference? I just went through people's Instagram accounts and got screenshots from their videos and stuff, and that's what we're using um, at the moment. Diogo, hello, you would like a sketch? Okay, maybe you get one. Um, so yeah. Th I think almost all of the sketches we're doing today are Instagram screenshots. Um, another awesome resource for getting cool references is Sketchy, um, the Sketchy community and the Kano community. That's a group chat. Sketchy is an app which is only available for iOS. Um, it's really cool. Um, here's another really cool reference. Here's Steph's mum. Is Steph still here? This is such a cool photo. <laughs> so this so this is a uh, yeah, the glasses is like from a filter, maybe on TikTok or Instagram or something, but it just looks so cool. So we're going to draw Steph's mum. Thank you for sharing. Hey, Stitch87. Thanks for getting over to YouTube. Um so yeah, anyone who's watching on YouTube and would like the chance to win one of these sketches and you get to choose it which one, um, just say that you'd like to win one, and you might. Uh, let's draw Steph's mum. Thank you for sharing your mum with us again, Steph. We've drawn Steph's mum in another live stream. Uh, it was really cool. And this is just such an awesome image. I'm going to start with the glasses on this one. I love having some, like this really frontal, they're not even real glasses. <laughs> 
So, so. I'm not going to say it's easy. It, it, it might not be easy, but they're not real glasses. <laughs> Feel free to draw them wrong. <laughs> um, free your inner monk. Feel free. Too, getting too free. <laughs> okay, if you get yourself too liberated, it may also not look like what you're drawing. But you may not care what it looks like which is, you know, if you enjoy the process, it's good. Hi, Instagram. I'm live streaming on YouTube. Shannon's having really good book ideas uh, in in the Zoom chat there and and, <laughs> and issues. Um, it, it's so cool having having you here in Zoom. So this is on three platforms. Some of you are watching on Instagram, on YouTube. I'm doing a live stream and I've got Zoom open. And it's just so cool having people sitting here chatting, saying funny and interesting things, educating me about some of the people that we're drawing and other things. And it's it's like that there are there are all sorts of things happening in the Zoom room that no one else will ever know about, and it's 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 hilarious. Okay, this is um, like four, four and a half minutes in. So for those who, who don't know yet, we're doing 10 minute sketches and you can see them over on YouTube. The link is in my bio on Instagram. Um, and so this is like the, the initial drawing, the sketch, and now I'm gonna block in some colors. Uh, got a really cool reference photo. Um, these glasses are wild. <laughs> Is it pink? <laughs> How? 
how, how many people are in Zoom at the moment? Can anyone see that? 11. Wow. Oh, here comes another one. Tina. Tina. Welcome to Zoom. I don't know. It's a it's a Tina with a long A. Tina. Welcome to Zoom. To the inner circle. May. Okay. <laughs> it fluctuates. There's a uh, cool. Thank you, Sorella, for saying that my sketches are wonderful. I'm glad you like them. It's nice to be here sketching with all of you, wherever you are. <laughs> hey, Shannon's got people giggling in the Zoom room. <laughs> hilarious um but yeah yeah just just doing it on um just doing it <laughs> ah diogo cool a tiktok friend if i'm not mistaken i haven't been as busy on tiktok um but i'm still sharing stuff over there another platform I, I don't know if we can do TikTok live and Instagram live at the same time. I think it doesn't work. I'd need another device and then I could be on four platforms at the same time. But I, I, I watched a, a YouTube video somewhere recently where someone's like, if you're streaming to multiple platforms at the same time and it's like Discord, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, it's like, whoa, it's crazy. But yeah, I don't know how you can keep the overview of what's happening in all these different spaces. What color should I do with this pink in the background? Green, thank you. Hi, Diogo and Tina, if you made it into the Zoom, welcome. Okay, some, I, I have, a few times I've had the experience someone will come into Zoom and I welcome them and, and then they disappear. Um, but no one, there's nothing required or expected of you if you join our Zoom room. You can just hang out. You don't have to answer. You don't have to talk. You can just be there and see these people sketching together. Exist with us. That's it. You can just exist with us. There are no expectations. <laughs> That's good of you. <clears throat> oh, almost at 10 minutes. What do I need to do to finish this? <laughs> Not ready. All right, just keep going. Um, how, what does this need? Uh, yeah, it's Steph's mum, so it's got to be good. Okay. So it's Steph, Steph Steffa on Instagram. Okay, we're going to be over time here, but 
I'm sure for everyone it's getting it's getting better with each additional second. But you know, it's it's a ten minute sketch, so not too much pressure. Don't, don't put pressure on yourself. Just just go for it. I, I I feel like for me these are super educational in a short space of time. And it's interesting that it's it's longer than the Tuesday sketches. We usually stop at six minutes. And it's like oh maybe just putting some green above the head. I feel like the top of the head is just lost. Like what's going on here? But I'll just expand my box of green. There we go. Yeah, so last last week, sketching between 30 and... Oh, we, we, we did two six, 10 minute portraits last week as well. I'm going to stop now. Um, you can keep going while I address some questions, if there are any questions. Um, so last week, so what happens in Zoom? Everyone's welcome to join and the link is in the description below or it's in my bio every Tuesday. Oh, and for Instagram, here's what I was just uh, drawing. Steph's mum. Thanks, Steph and Steph's mum. Um, Oh, we've already been, we've already been here for two hours together. That's been a wonderful two hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's already like ten thirty. Um, so every Tuesday we meet, and and usually we give each other prompts and be like, um, uh, someone just said something really funny. You're trying not to laugh because you've got a mouthful of soup, and then you're like, um, and then you do something, and then everyone will draw you for thirty seconds, up to six minutes, and. Um, thank you, Diego. Um, and so usually we're doing these like extreme poses and stuff or not extreme. It doesn't have to be. Everyone's open to interpret it however they want. Hi, Chloe. Um, I'm YouTubing on, I'm, I'm live streaming on YouTube at the moment, but I'm talking here on Instagram as well. Um, so yeah, every Tuesday we, we hang out in my Zoom room and we draw each other and we give each other prompts and as an exception to the rule last week, we didn't give prompts and everyone was just to sit as if they were posing for a portrait. And so everyone could interpret that however they wanted. And um, and it was really cool. It was interesting because normally we give each other prompts and we're like, okay, so, so that person didn't manage to keep the food in their mouth and you just got soup spat on your face and then you have to like react to that, which is also super fun because it's like we're giving each other prompts and interacting with each other and creating a story together as we're sketching each other. Um, so that was interesting to have people just assuming neutral poses, which was also funny sometimes. Um, it was really cool. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. And <clears throat> right now, doing 10 minute sketches on, on YouTube. If you would like to win one of them, because I'm doing a giveaway, um, tell me in the YouTube chat that you'd like to have one and maybe I'll give you one. Um, yeah, so it's already been two hours now. How many? Let's let's just reflect back on the past uh, two hours. We've got Mandy Patinkin here, and Jonathan Banks here. That's and Nilia Moon here. That's three. Uh, Hans Hans Albers here. Four. Um, Alex Kingston having a coffee. Five. Malika Farotan. Six. Ganesha. Seven. Steph's mum. Eight. So we've done eight sketches in two hours. Um, anyone want to keep drawing? I still have some reference. Um, or we could just call it a night <clears throat> and, and keep drawing next time in, in two weeks um, or come and sketch with us on Tuesday so I'm, I'm I don't know I'm open we, could, we can we could draw someone else we could draw Steph I, I thought although it was brilliantly suggested that we draw Dylan and Shannon <clears throat> um, you can check out our YouTube video where we draw each other and um yeah it's it's a very good video uh and if you're not already subscribed to my youtube channel i would love you to and let's should we draw steph as well let's draw steph i got steph as well steph's so lovely um so do another sketch 
So Schmoonify, hello. Yeah, your your stuff is so cool. Nice to see you pop up there. I'm I'm live streaming on Instagram and on YouTube. You can follow the link in my bio and we're doing 10 minute sketches. And if you'd like to win one of the sketches, then say so in the YouTube chat and you might. Let's draw Steph. So another 10 minute portraits. When I um when I put that out the call on Instagram saying who should we draw, I uh it was pretty slow in the beginning. I was like, oh, maybe only a couple of people are going to suggest stuff. And um, and I thought we'd have time to do like a longer pose as well. But now we've already done eight portraits. And I don't think we're going to do anything longer than uh, 10 minutes probably. But let's draw Steph. Steph has really cool shadow shapes here. I'm just going to start by drawing a shadow shape. Um, if you're watching on Instagram and you're like, what's he talking about? What's he doing? If you follow the the link in my bio to my YouTube live stream, you can watch me draw, draw along if you want. If you're, you're watching on YouTube and you feel like braving the Zoom room, uh, you can come and hang out with us on Zoom. And, um, and maybe gain some amazing insights which no one else is going to be uh, gaining <laughs> but in whatever way you are interacting with this and being here thank you so much um, I'm almost at 18,000 followers on Instagram which is pretty cool and I'm like climbing towards 1,000 subscribers on YouTube which is also pretty cool and wherever you are in whatever way you look at my work and interact with me i appreciate you all and thank you for for watching and being interested and thank you for those of you who draw together with me and sketch together on tuesdays and thanks my patreon supporters and um Thank you for everyone who enables me to keep doing this and making it so much fun. <laughs> Did you get your chocolate delivered to you from upstairs? This, I, I already think this is really interesting. I've just been like, just focusing on the shadow shape. And I just feel like this as, as it is right now. Um, oh, wow. You can kind of see it better on my phone than on my super good camera on the desk. That's that's upsetting. <laughs> Why? What, what am I not doing right with my camera? Why does it look better on the phone? Like when I, when I picked it up here and it was like that, you can see it really well. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing what Zoom is seeing. That's interesting. Um, which is what I see in OBS. Which is what I use for live streaming. Um, So this is interesting, just like three minutes in, I feel like just l looking at this um, kind of core shadow line down through the face and just drawing that, it's like, I feel like this has been a really interesting way to start the drawing. So sometimes it's cool to mix things up and do things differently. Sometimes I just like start from one area of the face and just kind of expand out and kind of wander across the face or starting from outside and working your way in can be cool. And um, I like this. Oh, good. I'm glad it looks good on YouTube. Maybe it's just the Zoom feed that is like not, not looking as good as I want it to. 
it's interesting because Zoom has like kind of put itself in front of everything else on my computer. So that's what I'm seeing. And it's funny seeing seeing myself in Zoom because it's like the worst camera that I have is up there. It's like super overexposed and you can see the mess behind me. And... Don't look at it. If you, if you would like to see the mess behind me, then follow the Zoom look in my bio. <laughs> I, I, I'm normally pretty strategic about the way I angle my camera because um, things happen in my workspace and and sometimes they just these things expand all around me but I'm able to crop them out <laughs> with strategic camera placing. Oh cool. Oh, I like this like this. Maybe instead of <clears throat> going in and doing more detail, I'm just going to like fill up that shadow shape with what, some color. What color should I, should it be? Purple, okay. So here are my, my watercolors over here. And here I have, I don't know what colors these are. Some pinky purple colors, put a little bit of blue in that. I saw a very liberating approach that when I saw Gris using his palette where he just kind of put his brush through almost every color on the palette and just kind of mix it all together. It's like it doesn't matter which color it is actually, just, just do something, just get some color. Color's hard, I think, getting color right. So if you don't worry about getting color right, Not as hard. <laughs> I, I have great respect for people that are very good at getting color right. Ah, that's interesting. The our. Yeah, cool. So Lisa in the Zoom room chat is a hairdresser and said that um, working as a hairdresser has really helped getting color right because you have to match up people's hair color when you're like coloring. Silk is leaving. Thank you so much for joining. Um, that's amazing. You've been here for, with us for like two hours. Thank you so much for being here. Um, It's interesting to see, um, like, thank you to those tuning in on Instagram. I can see that three people are looking at the moment, which is not a lot of people, because this is not super interesting if you're only experiencing it through Instagram, because I'm live streaming on YouTube. Um, but it's interesting to see how it's like it's dropped down to three people because, I don't know, maybe this is not the most engaging Instagram live because it's just my face talking about things as I'm drawing and you can't see what I'm drawing but I am drawing and I will soon post the drawings the sketches that we've done together yeah 24 that's um been very consistent on YouTube thank you for sticking with us it's funny I can see things in the background over here whoops a hundred and a hundred and thirteen people have tuned in at some point on um, on YouTube, and like twenty five, twenty four has been like the people that have stuck stuck with it. So thank you all for being here. Ah, oh, Steph is in the chat. Awesome. This is such a nice photo, Steph. Thank you for sharing it with us. What should the background color be? Haha, <laughs> I thought so. Thanks. Uh, um, oh, I don't have many yellows over here, but I've got this. I'll just use this. 
it's like a gold ochre yellow it's 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 good having you there and i can be like what color and you just tell me and i can just like all right let go of any feeling of i know it's nice it's collaborative i can re relinquish the responsibility of having to choose colors myself <laughs> mm. oh that's interesting so it's brighter on youtube than it is on zoom All right, that's 10 minutes. So this has like the least, I think this is like almost, oh, not, not totally, maybe um, Nilia's was less detailed, but I feel like this is the least detailed drawing so far, like the less, least defined. And I really like it. It's cool, I like it. So here, for the, for the one person who's looking on Instagram right now, two people now, <laughs> um, I, just, I just did the sketch. Um, Oh, that's cool. You, you can see it on the on the YouTube feed as well. Three people are watching now. Hi, hi, hi. Um, uh, I don't know. This is this is almost two and a half hours. Is this it? Should we stop now? <sighs> I've wondered about that. I've wondered about that. Um, so every Tuesday, this this may be the conclusion of of our current sketching session if you would like to win one of these sketches in the youtube chat please tell me that you would like one and you might win one um only 14 people entered my instagram giveaway so there will be a sketch going out to who was it again um Dimarcopolis. oh yeah you're still here awesome yellow orange uh, yeah, it was yellow. Um, Dimarcopoulos is going to be winning, uh, is going to get one of these sketches. So I'll go through them again and show you. I will, uh, it's great having, ah, okay. So I will, I'll make some more space over here so we can look at two at a time. Let's look at Steph and Steph's mum together. Um, so Demarcopolis is winning one of these ske sketches and in the YouTube chat if you tell me that you'd like one then you might get one so put that in there and sometime soon I'll, I'll go through the chat and see who said they like one and then I will randomly select someone with my with the random number selector um, I, I like this this is my favorite the last one I think is my favorite Steph Cool. I'm glad we, we did a ninth portrait. It was Ganesha, Mel, Melika, Alex, Hans, Nilia, Jonathan, and Mandy. So there's quite a few sketches that we've just done. Thank you to everyone who joined. Um, yeah, if you want to join us on Tuesdays, you can follow the link in my bio. Um, Steph would like to win as well. Yeah, cool. Did you did you say that on YouTube as well, Steph? I see you were over there as well. Because I'm going to be looking through the YouTube chat to see um, who 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 wants a sketch. Um, Diego, my pleasure for sharing my time. It's really nice hanging out and drawing together with you. And yeah, everyone's welcome to come and sketch with me on Tuesday. Um, it's oh, and and. On Monday, which is Halloween, I'm going to be doing an extra live sketch session, which is like a pre, it's like a lead in, it's, it's going to be like Tuesdays, <laughs> but it's going to be on Halloween. So I guess it's going to be extra magical. And it's as part of the warm up for Let's Face It, which is a year long portrait class that I'm going to be teaching in. But I'm basically going to be doing like a Tuesday session on a Monday, and I'm going to be doing the Tuesday session. Um, and on Monday you can come dressed up with Halloween stuff or bring a bring a carved pumpkin or something or a skull um, whatever you feel like so that's going to be fun it's going to be two opportunities to get dressed up and pose for 
portraits. So I would love you to come join me on Monday and Tuesday. Um, Tuesday is the regular day, every Tuesday. Monday, Monday is going to be 8.30. And it's going to be an hour instead of two hours. So Tuesday is always two hours. Um, maybe we'll go a bit longer, but that's what it, that's, that's like the plan at the moment. Um, yeah, and Tuesdays, uh, the Monday session is free for all. Tuesdays, five euros, I'll pay what you want. So uh, everyone is welcome to join. If you have access to Zoom, then please join us. And if you've been wanting to enter the YouTube giveaway, make sure right now that you put a comment in the chat saying, I want to win, I want to sketch, and maybe you'll, you'll get one. Um, and if you'd like to buy me a coffee, I have a buy me a coffee link. This this was like a free thing. I'm, I am I love doing this and just hang out and drawing together. But if you feel like, hey, this was super fun, I'd like to buy Dylan a coffee, there's a, a link in my bio to do that or in the description as well. Um, and I think I think that's it for today. I'll, I'll leave Zoom open a little bit longer so you don't have to jump off and we can just like, we can wave goodbye to each other. But for those on YouTube and Instagram, Thank you for tuning in and um, we'll be sketching again in another two weeks and every Tuesday and there'll be the special event on Monday for Halloween. And um, the Tuesday theme will be like the day after Halloween. So you can get dressed up for that and I don't know, it could be like, I don't know, whatever whatever you imagine conjures. It's like Halloween, but the day after what happened in the night. Um, cool, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'm going to end the stream. Bye. Thank, thanks.